Hello friends, in this particular video we will be talking about chromosomal aberrations. Also we will talk about a few topics which are important as far as the exam is concerned. Uh, from this topic usually the pattern is that that we will find one or the other question from these eight particular. So uh, we will start each one of them but before that we'll just start with the basic introduction to the topic here chromosomal aberrations it meaning is the errors or disorders of chromosome so basically the aberrations it means disorders or errors of chromosome So this can be, this aberration can be due to numerical change or structural in nature. So first thing that we talked is there can be changes in the number of chromosomes or there can be change in the structure of the chromosome. So first we'll start with the numerical aberration. numerical aberration in these first uh, numerical uh, aberration mean, means is the change in number irregular cell division leads to chromosomal non disjunction number of changes in number of chromosome occurs so change in numbers basically it talks about the irregular cell division so here we'll talk about irregular cell division which leads to chromosomal non which leads to chromosomal non disjunction non disjunction further the number of changes in number of chromosomes occur so due to this chromosomal non disjunction there is a change in the num number of chromosomes so that is what the numerical aberration is the self duplication of chromosomes numerical aberrations are, are of two types so numerical aberrations are of two types first is euploidy euploidy and the second is aneuploidy first is euploidy and second is aneuploidy In euploidy, there is addition or deletion of set of chromosome. So in euploidy, there is addition or deletion of a set of chromosomes. For chromosomes, we'll simply draw this type of diagram. So this is uh, this is the first point in euploidy. There is addition or there is deletion of a set of chromosome. Uh, for example, it can be haploid or mono monoploid haploid okay uh, they can be triploid or tetraploid euploid is very common in plant this is very common in plants and it is totally absent in human being it's absent totally total absent in human being Now we'll talk about aneuploidy. Addition or deletion of one or two or few chromosomes. For example, 2n minus 1. That leads to, that can be 45. 22 pairs. 1. Monosomy. Monosomy is the deletion of one chromosome. If there is addition of one, uh, there can be addition or deletion both. So if there is addition of two, so if this thing becomes 2n plus 2, that becomes tetrasomy. If it becomes 2n plus 1, this becomes trisomy. 
if it becomes 2n plus 1 plus 1 that becomes double trisomy and if it becomes 2n minus 1 minus 1 it becomes double monosomy and if 2n minus 2 if it is something like 2n minus 2 so we call it as nullisomy nullisomy we'll write down everything that we uh, studied first is trisomy tetrasomy then there is double trisomy double trisomy then there is double monosomy double monosomy for trisomy it is 2n plus 1 which is 47 then for tetrasomy it is 2n plus 2 for double trisomy it is 2n plus 1 plus 1 for double monosomy it is 2n minus 1 minus 1 and 2n minus 2 for nullisomy only these are identi identified in human other conditions are not present in other, anim other animal right so now moving forward we'll talk about the numerical aberrations there are of two types on the basis of nature of chromosome on the basis of nature of chromosomes first is autosome autosomal and the second is sex chromosomal okay so now we'll start with either autosomal or sex chromosomal so autosomal numerical aberration we'll start with the autosomal as we have written down autosomal numerical aberration that is 22 pairs present in both the gender hence these aberrations are present in both male it will be both present in male and female this is the first point now we'll talk about the uh, some of the examples if the 13th chromosome if there is 13th chromosome addition we call it as patau syndrome patau syndrome if Eighteenth chromosome addition. If there is eighteenth addition, we call it as Edwards syndrome. Edwards syndrome. If there is twenty-first addition, we call it as Down syndrome. Okay. Autosomal autosomes are longer than sex chromosomes. First autosomes are longer than sex chromosomes. Okay. When these chromosomes are long genes are more uh, hence effect is more so when these chromosomes are long uh, are of long genes so they are more and hence the effect is more in this addition or deficiency causes physical mental and sensual defects so if there's anything which we uh, say that there's addition there's subst uh, deletion or uh, there's kind of a, a process where the sufferer gets physical, mental and sensual defect, dwarfness, mental feebleness, sterility, external organs like skin, nose, eyes, ears are malformed, internal organs like kidney, pancreas, heart, p 
pituitaries are deformed if chromosomes are, uh, chromosomes are long severity is more autosomal monosomy in human is not identified so that we have talked that autosomal monosomy monosomy is not identified in human but it leads to embryonic death itself so it leads to embryonic death itself number of trisomic conditions are identified so for patau syndromes for Ed edward syndrome and for down syndrome for patau it was 13th for edward it was 18th and for downs it was 21st right So chromosome addition is the concept in three of them. Now length of chromosome, if more effect, more uh, life span is less. So if the uh, length of the chromosome is more, life span is less, and vice versa. Now we'll start with the new topic here. Down syndrome. the eight topics that we will be discussing right now every year or every second year we get a direct question from this unit and particularly from this particular topic so without wasting time we'll start with it down syndrome it is 21 trisomy we call it as trisomy 21 trisomy 21 chromosome that is 21st chromosome it is autosomal numerical disorder that is 2n plus 1 so it is 47 47 22 pair and 3 autosomy lifespan karyotype is 47 and 21 plus so for on karyotype we'll write it as total is 47 and on 21st we have this thing the frequency is uh, 1 is to 60 to 700 down syndrome patient patient may be male or female so it can be male or female in previous lecture we talked about clean filter syndrome where the patients or where the sufferer are basically male but in down syndrome the sufferer can be male or can be female major reason for this disease is not a di a dijunction and self duplication at cellular level abnormal meiosis so major reason for this disease is not the, the uh, non disjunction which was a result for klinefelter syndrome so here uh, this is not the major result okay abnormal uh, meiosis take place in old age mother late pregnancy and pregnancies after 40 years syndromes we'll talk about the symptoms general uh, dwarfness so dwarfness mental fee feebleness absolutely all male are sterile male are sterile and in female some may be sterile so male all sterile some female may be sterile we will also write down the things that abnormal meiosis takes place because of old age delivery late pregnancies particularly 40 plus okay and then we definitely are talking about the symptoms external organs like skin nose eyes ears are deformed so external organs are deformed and internal organs like kidney pancreas etc are also deformed the specific symptoms is 
that uh, of the mongoloid or mongolism the face is round here face is round flatter and moon like round flatter and moon like the nose is flattened nose is flattened eyes are slant eyes are slant upper eyelid has epicantic fold so epicantic fold is a typical uh, mongoloid feature we will talk about it when we'll start paper 2's uh, daily writing answers okay so these are some uh, particular points on this topic so previously this was known as mongolism due to the international court's decision this term should not be used on the basis of racial characters the prevention to the down syndrome is that by avoiding the late uh, late pregnancies now we'll start with the next topic that is edwards syndrome edwards syndrome is basically 18th chromosome 18th uh, addition of the chromosome on 18th pair yeah. autosomal numerical disorder this is 2n plus 1 life span is 2 to 3 month 50% probability and around 10 year is also 50% probability so karyotype is 47 karyotype is 47 and 18th plus the frequency is 1 is to 600 live birth the patients they can be male or can be female and no uh, disjunction or self uh, duplication abnormal meiosis non disjunction and self duplication abnormal meiosis these are the reasons the second reason can be aged mother aged mother then life span is 2 to 3 month 50% chances and 10 years 50% chances the symptoms are same as down syndrome symptoms are same as downs okay muscular neural uh, defects are there specific symptoms are is low birth weight in newborn baby head weight is very less compared to the other baby and uh, microcephalic skull cleft palate or uh, hair lip multiple branches finger and toes third and fifth fingers are overlapped on second and fourth fingers so these are some of the specific symptoms which are related to edward syndrome the prevention is here also the same that avoiding late pregnancy in the late age the third syndrome that we will talk about here is patau syndrome patau syndrome in patau syndrome basically there is addition on 13 chromosomal aberration uh, the addition is on 13th position so karyotype will be 47 and 13 plus the frequency here is 1 is to 10000 live birth 1 is to 10000 live birth and patient may be male or patient may be female non disjunction non dis junction is one of the reason second is aged mother then life span is 1 to 2 month or 1 to 2 years symptoms are generally same as the other two so there is basically the symptoms right dwarfism feebleness etc and cyst, uh, symptoms which are specific are polio dactyl polydactyl polydactyl cleft palate cleft palate half lip lips 
half lips they have lips okay uh, microcephalic the microcephalic low birth weight the nails are plastic like and neck skin is extended webbed neck newborn children low level of calcium and low level of hemoglobin so calcium hemoglobin is also low the next thing can be that uh, webbed neck this is important webbed neck preventing uh, prevention here is also the same that by avoiding the late pregnancies the last here we'll talk about is crydo cat syndrome here there's addition deletion inversion translocation of chromosomes or a small piece of chromosome so autosomal structural aberration disorder fifth chromosome or small piece of short arm of p is deleted it is known as 5p syndrome it is known as 5p syndrome because fifth chromosome or a part of the chromosome uh, short arm is deleted the karyotype is 46 p minus 5p minus the frequency is 1 is to 50000 and sufferer are both male and female sufferer are both male or female the major reason is deletion of small piece of p arm of 5h chromosome frequency is very high in aged mother the life span is 10 to 15 years in extreme survival cases the symptoms include newborn child cry as like a cat is mewing so hence the cry do cat syndrome so like cat is mewing so if a baby is crying it feels like it sounds it make a sound like cat is mewing so vocal cord larynx is not properly formed total gastrointestinal problem speech problem throat problem and hence drinking eating uh, swallowing sucking problem continuous saliva oozing from mouth that is we call it as drooming drooming throat problem gastrointestinal problem speech problem swallowing problem eating problem the all uh, these are the symptoms this low birth weight again microcephalic condition microcephalic condition face is round moon like flattened in some cases polydactyle cleft palate combination of all that is patau syndrome edward syndrome and down syndrome will come under crydo cat crydo cat syndrome the prevention here is also the same that is by avoiding the pregnancies in the late age So now we'll talk about the sexual defect that is sex chromosomal aberration. So we'll start with a new topic that is sex chromosomal aberration. Here we'll talk about the clean filter syndrome. clean filter syndrome then we'll talk about super male super female and then we'll end the lecture on turner syndrome as far as the clean filter syndrome is concerned uh we have a separate video for it that we have just uploaded uh but here in this particular video we'll just have a brief uh, introduction to the clean filter syndrome in one or two minute so clean filter syndrome is addition of sex chromosome leads to gi- uh, gigantism because of y chromosome all sufferers are male here so all sufferers are 
मेल सेक्स क्रोमोजोमल न्यूमेरिकल डिसऑर्डर इट इज एन एडिशन ऑफ वन और मोर एक्स क्रोमोजोम इज नोन एज क्लीन फिल्टर सिंड्रोम सो देर कैन बी वन टू थ्री थ्री टाइप्स वेर देर इज एडिशन ऑफ वन एडिशन ऑफ टू एक्स क्रोमोजोम एंड एडिशन ऑफ थ्री एक्स क्रोमोजोम इफ देर इज एडिशन ऑफ वन क्रोमोजोम वी कॉल इट एज डायसोमी इफ देर इज टू एडिशन ऑफ एक्स डबल एक्स एंड एक्स वी कॉल इट एज ट्राइसोमी इफ देर आर फोर देर आर थ्री एक्स क्रोमोजोम्स विच आर एडेड वी कॉल इट एज टेट्रासोमिक कंडीशन एंड द कैरियो टाइप दैट वी हैव वी मेक इज देर इन द लास्ट वीडियो दिस फ्रिक्वेंसी इज वन इज टू वन इन सेवन हंड्रेड लाइव बर्थ एंड द सिम्टम्स दैट वी हैव टॉक्ट ऑलरेडी दैट इज जाइगेंटिज्म both male and female masculine and feminine characters feminine characters like enlargement of breast high pitched voice enlargement of buttocks uh, male sex organs like penis testis etc are, are not well formed they are malformed uh, the uh, penis is small in size testicles are small sperm production is totally absent and that condition is known as azoospermia 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 right hence sexually unfit and sterile female may be or may not be uh due to the presence of both uh, the male organ and female organ that is uh, uh, hormones testosterone and estrogen are both secreted so there is hormonal imbalance throughout the body and hence the patient or the sufferer uh, leads to physical and mental stress the basic reason is self duplication or non disjunction during meiosis cell division so now we'll talk about super male super female and turner syndrome and we will end this particular lecture so starting with the super male addition of one or more y chromosome that is super male numerical sex chromosome syndrome it is and uh, this is restricted to males their uh, types can be type 1 2 3 which is diisomic trisomic and tetrasomic if there is addition of one more y so it becomes xy plus y x xy plus double y and here xy plus x triple y so this is diisomic trisomic and this is tetrasomic basic reason is self duplication frequency is 1 is to 800 male live birth and life span is normal the symptoms are very aggressive due to high level of testosterone the giant criminal bent of mind anti social attitude high level of testosterone physical and mental stress recently again in another survey it was found that there are number of super males in society leading a normal life sufferer are sexually fit so there is no problem in the sexual life they are sexually fit moving towards the next that is the super female super female the addition of one or more x chromosome in female so similar here is also the same that is diisomic addition of one more x trisomic addition of two more x and tetrasomic addition of three more x so the frequency is 1 is to 1000 1 is to 1000 here also we talked about addition of one addition of two and addition of 3 so this is okay so uh, the symptoms now we'll talk about here first diisomic trisomic tetrasomic so the life span is normal they have the normal life span and the symptoms are uh, the female are tall estrogen level are very high hormonal imbalance is common high physical and mental stress 
highly developed sexual gland and feminine features and they are fertile so this is basically a normal situation now we'll end the lecture with the last topic that is turner syndrome the turner syndrome is numerical allo uh, uh, so first it affects female numerical sex chromosomal syndrome monosomic karyotype is 45 xo or 45x the frequency is common that is 1 is to 2500 female live birth basically female uh, due to absence of x chromosome they live normal span of life symptoms is dwarfness due to the deletion of x chromosome low level of estrogen or absence hormonal imbalance physical stress and mental stress secondary sexual characters are not properly developed external and internal sex organs are defective there's no menarche so external and internal sex organs are defective no menarche no menopause breast is not properly developed chest is flattened nipples are very wide internal organs like ovary uterus are deformed otherwise absent ovulation is absent sexually sterile but may be sexually fit and vagina may be very small hence may not conceive surgical methods are in place to widen uh, the reproductive organ and hence can enjoy the sexual life but unable to conceive ovaries are filled with white stick like tissue ovarian follicles are absent no ovulation no menstrual cycle menopause menarche is absent uh, pubic hair is absent or scanty webbed neck is present mental retardation may be present learning problems are what they face understanding problem behavioral problem sexual sterility and unable to produce offspring so in this particular video we started our topic and then now we dealt with down syndrome edwards syndrome patau syndrome crydo cat then uh, we have the separate video for clean filter syndrome then we talked about super male super female and turner syndrome so this lecture is important because at least one of this topic comes in your exam and you should have a crisp notes about a uh, short notes that may be around 100 to 150 words on each on every topic i have tried to give one uh, give notes short notes highlighters points you can write anything around that point but these pointers which i have written here are important so stay tuned thank you for watching the video have a great time